you're struggling to build a multilingual website here in Wix, well, I'm here to help you out today. My name is Michael Strauch. I'm the host here on Computer MD of Gilbert. Thank you guys for joining me. So, you guys are probably thinking, wow, this man is the definition of insanity. Guys, I've made probably three or four multilingual videos explaining how to create a multilingual website here in Wix. However, this solution right now is still not foolproof, so full advisory. However, it is the most effective and the easiest on you at the current moment. So let's discuss. So before we get into things, don't forget over to, forget to go over to wixmywebsite.com. Get on our weekly Wix tips email list, guys. It's already been helping tons of people, and I would love if you would join our community, join our family, and get on that list. Plus. It's weekly Wix tips, so you get beneficial tips plus early deals or early promotions or early content or exclusive content. So go ahead, get on that list today. And now we're in the editor. So before, you guys have to go over to the Wix app marketplace, get the Wix language menu. So this part does not change. Add to site, bam, same thing. You get your Wix language menu and then you double click your Wix language menu. It then says duplicate your pages. So this is where we're gonna take a bit of a turn. We're gonna take an unconventional route here. Instead of duplicating all of the pages on your website here and then translating each new duplicated page for the corresponding language and then creating a button menu for each and every page in each and every language, we're going to do something a little different. I know this seems like Captain Obvious here, but what we're going to do is actually duplicate your website. So what you need to do is build out your initial website in your home language, your native language, whatever website your you know initial language is going to be. After you've built out that website, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to your Wix account, and if you hover over your website, in this case Wix My Website, you can see those three little dots, and then you'll see Duplicate. I'm not going to press it because I don't need to duplicate this site, but you would then click duplicate and it would create a duplicate version of your site. Once you get your duplicate version, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and instead of duplicating all of your pages now, you're just going to change your each page as is and translate it and translate all those pages into the corresponding language and then obviously change your menu to the correct language. And it's that simple. Now, after you do that, there's obviously a little connection issue we have to address here. So in the Wix language menu, let's just say we go through. So we duplicate our site instead of duplicate pages in this case. Then we translate the pages on the new site. And then we create a new site menu. Perfect. You'll create that new site menu on your new page. In this case, you don't need to use button menu. And then you'll add your languages. Now, we see here English and homepage. So in this case, this is our English homepage. Um, let's just call it blog. That That's our English homepage. Perfect. So it's set up for this website. Except you see something here. You're not allowed to select a URL or a different page on another website. So what you're going to have to do is, where it says select page, X that out for a minute, go up here to pages, click add page, and just say, call it Spanish connection. We'll just pretend we're using Spanish. And then what you need to do here, you design this page however you want, but we need to add a button. And that button has to take us to the new website. So you would name the button, enter Spanish website. And then you change the link here, and you would just change the web address. And you would add the one to your Spanish version of the website. Perfect, easy done, right? So we have that done. You create the page that links the two sites together. So that way you have one version in one language, you have one version in another. Now to talk about logistics of things, so we come back here, and then for this we would select Spanish homepage. So we want that to go to this little redirect page. So we will then click, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wix is bugging out on me there. Spanish connection, click save, because now when they click this little Spanish flag on the uh, Wix language app, it will take them to this page where they can then click to enter the Spanish website. It's that simple. However, we have to talk a few logistics here. 
So one, you're probably asking yourself, if I have another website through Wix, because you are duplicating your website, do I have to pay for another website? So right now, this is the only downfall. Yes, you would. However, if you're not accepting payments and you don't have an online store or anything like that, you can just buy the most basic plan, the combo plan for like $5 a month and just roll with it so that way you have another version of another language. It would be easiest to do that. It would save you a lot of trouble and a lot of work in the meantime. However, if you do have an online store, unfortunately, you are going to have to um, pay that e-commerce plan. But it does kind of help you out because although you're playing, paying two e-commerce plans, you have two different languages and technically two different websites, which now I want to address. You're probably asking, well, what about the domain name? Would it stay the same? Would it be different? So in order to make this happen, what you're going to want to do is add a subdomain name. So if we go in here and let's just go into one of my sites here. We'll just go into Wix, my website. Um, actually, I'll type this in for this. For this. Add a subdomain to Wix. And Wix has a nice little article right here on how to connect a subdomain to your Wix website. So in this case, let's just say you are adding a Spanish version of your website. Instead of having a new domain name, you could simply add a SP dot whatever your domain name dot com is. So it'd be Spanish. That'd be like the prefix for Spanish or FR for French dot whatever your domain name is dot com or uh, dot GA or GM or GR for German dot your domain name dot com so then it's technically part of your website but it's a branch off for that language so it can makes complete sense and honestly it's the easiest and most effective for you at the moment I've done a lot of research on this to make your lives as easy as possible and creating that button menu the the most popular issue we've had is that it's just messy and it is you have to create a, an individual page and an individual button menu for each and every page you create and duplicate for each language it just gets messy it's not appealing to mobile it's not appealing on your regular desktop website so do yourselves a favor use this method duplicate your current website after you build it out for your native language and then go ahead translate that second website for whatever language you want because one website is going to be one language one website is going to be the other language it'll be the exact same website you'll use a subdomain to connect them and you can use this article right here I'll link it in the description below and then go ahead and make that connection again you do have to pay for that second website but if you have no major um, you know plans such as you have to pay for like an online store to accept payments then you simply just get the most basic plan and you'll be ready to rock and roll I mean obviously check the plans to make sure they correspond uh, and and make sure you select the one you need for your your current website needs but other than that, it's that simple and it's a lot easier, like I said, much more effective. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm here to help you out. Drop me a like if this video helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert where I could help you guys with some more weekly Wix tips, which leads me to my last thing. Guys, don't forget to head over to WixMyWebsite.com and sign up for these weekly Wix tips here. They're here to help you. They're here as a major resource to you. So please utilize them. Go out there, sign up. It's free and get some free weekly Wix tips. Thank you guys very much. And I hope that this video maybe cleared up most of your multilingual issues until Wix supports a different way to create a multilingual website all in one site without using button menus and using regular menus instead and making a cleaner version of the app. We're going to have to wait and just use this method as it's much cleaner, much easier to use, and much more effective. Other than that, guys, thank you. Have an excellent rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one.